Hey folks, so this is a, a follow-on video to the video that I did earlier this week about how could travel booking interface change in a world of conversational AI. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I, I'll put the link in this video uh, for you to read. There's a, a bit of a description there in the story that we that, that we wrote at Skift. And uh, you can then watch this 10 minute video that I did. And so this is a f this is stretching that logic this is obviously more blue sky thinking than um, is possible today. Actually, the, the, the technology is 100% possible. It's a matter of if, if the companies, the large travel companies uh, adopt this um, and take this blue sky thinking and make products out of it. So um, if you assume the conversational AI travel planning, you saw what happened. Uh, many of you have seen what Bing relaunched, the, the, the Microsoft search engine relaunched as uh, incorporating chat GPT into it such that now the, the search is a hybrid of search listings as well as a chat bot that answers your question and both coexist. Um, if you think about what this means for travel planning, if you are asking Bing, chat GPT or Bing or other agents that will come uh, when Google integrates, very likely Google will integrate it's search listings along with the ch with the chat bot they're they're calling Bard. so likely they're gonna um, combine those two things because uh, it's it's not either or world it's and world in this case at least in my opinion. Then if you're asking uh, Google, that's a Google has both search as well as the chat bot along with it, on um, tell me where to um, uh, tell me a five five day itinerary for London if you're planning to go to London from New York. It will do that both in terms of search results. We'll get you know, 10 different sites that will uh, probably give you bits and pieces of that answer versus a more complete answer um, right or wrong. Well, that obviously is still debatable from um, on the right-hand side, let's say, in the chat bot. Take that to the travel booking search engine. Which of OTAs particularly, because they have the tech wherewithal, um, airlines could potentially add. We'll add the travel planning element if travel planning becomes uh, very much a game of using these um, conversational AI tools, in this case, ChatGPT or million others that exist, and create a travel planning layer on top of the travel booking. So imagine Expedia or Booking.com, they have content, you know, these are human created content in different sections they have about you know, different destinations, the top lists are where people want to go. Here's the hot destinations for the next year. They do a lot of that stuff, content marketing, basically for people to book their, their um, to go and then when they have a, a better sense, go and book their trip. So the they're much lower down the consideration funnel, the travel booking engines are, because you've already figured out, you've, you've done the travel, travel planning phase, for most part, this is, I'm talking very broad, broad strokes. And then you go to a travel booking engine like Booking Expedia to do that. What if travel with these move up the 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 funnel in in the travel buying cycle, and add these conversational bots that help you travel plan as well, and that is very likely to come. Um, it just it could, it could go either way. Tra travel booking comes to travel planning. In this case, travel planning right now is the domain of say the search engine, primarily at least as as a, as a starting point. Would booking come to that part? or would planning come to the booking engines? Again, may not have to be either or, but the things that the thing that booking and Expedia have to worry about is how to innovate such that they add these, these um, new tools that, that allow them to move further up the planning, the travel booking cycle. Then capture, one, they capture more of the value if they're providing, um, valuable travel planning advice, chances are people will convert a lot at a higher rate if you give them enough advice on their own uh, site versus going to 10 other sites, which is what the current behavior is. This is the biggest challenge that Booking and Expedia and other large um, engines have, which is people are comparison shopping and a lot of it, the entry points are through search um, and, uh, and then they may not actually capture the value in terms of the actual booking. 
And so if you add travel planning, the right uh, conversational AI based travel planning to your service, chances are people are, you, you have more of a lock on their, uh, on their dollars that they're going to spend. So that's how I'm thinking about travel planning coming to travel booking engines. The reverse could also be true where, where Google so far has not closed the loop is, is not an OTA. This is a story that we've done hundreds of times, um, hundreds of times over the last 10 years, which is will travel, will Google become an OTA? Hasn't, continues to not be the case. In fact, we did a story recently on Google Flights on how they've done these layoffs recently and Google Travel has been disproportionately affected such that there's clearly, they've, they've made a case of picking uh, ad sales over product development in their travel vertical, at least for now. And so whether it's Microsoft Bing or Google Search, it's unlikely that they will add, at least for now, it looks like they will close the loop on booking, even though they're becoming better and better at travel planning, particularly with these conversational agents. So that's, that's my thought for today. I wanna stretch it even further it's very likely, so one of the things is, oh, does will you book using a chatbot? Unlikely to be the case because of, in, particularly in complex bookings. Maybe it will happen in the business travel where you know very particularly the repeat type of travel that you're doing. What will happen will potentially be a hybrid, an assistant. In this case, very likely going to be sure chatbot, but also voice-based intelligent assistant. This is already happening. Intelligent assistants are where tons of action is. Uh, for instance, in um, in Word Docs, Google Docs, this is where a lot of AI is coming in to help you um, write faster, better, write code better as well. See, these are intelligent agents that sit on the side. This is just, I'm using it as a metaphor. They may not be on the side, but um, to help you, whatever you're working on, particularly in a professional context, better. Now, imagine these agents coming to your booking.com experience or your Expedia experience or your 20 other sites, airline booking experience as well, airline sites or even hotel sites. These intelligent agents that are basically, imagine a human whispering in your ear, planning now coming to um, a, a bot that is sitting along with your travel. There's your traditional travel search process. Should I look for these dates? Should I look multi-city? Should I do this? So all of this happens today you have to do it manually versus asking an agent, in this case, potentially a voice-based input that gives you answers and then helps you along faster to the result. I think we're, we're gonna get there. Some version of it Google Assistant has already done in the travel space, uh, hasn't really taken off uh, in the big way that people thought it would, but this is where we're getting to. So again, we're at the cusp of this technology that blue sky thinking could definitely lead to actual products versus vaporware. And the players, and it's very likely going to come from startups, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, unfortunately, that's a subjective thing, but the large companies have to start thinking about this type of rethink of the travel booking interface because the technology is there. The, 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 the consumer behavior is very likely to change if these on the search side these tools become, the conversational tools become a reality. Intelligent agents become a reality. All of it is possible now. All right, that's it. That's my thought for today. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna be back with you uh, with more blue sky thinking that's a part of our role. And you'll read all of it on Skift and hopefully continue to read. Please go to skift.com and read all the news, subscribe to the newsletter if you like this thinking. This is what we do very well.